Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm doing the shell challenge by Lolly Simmer underscore Lolly Simmer underscore but Simmer only with one M on Instagram. Uh, I'll put their handle right here. They created a shell challenge because they hit 200 followers and I saw that shell and I was like, okay, that is impossible. I cannot make a cute house out of that. How does anybody make a cute house out of that? But I actually think I did quite a good job. I'm not sure. So the rules are you can add fences and half walls, foundations, stairs, but you cannot move any walls that they put down. You can obviously put in walls on the inside, but if walls are on the inside, you cannot remove them. That's just how this challenge works. And I'm recording this way in advance. I think she will pick the winners soon. 20th of August I'm reading right now, but I don't know when this video will be coming online. Maybe maybe in September, maybe in August, maybe Eve. I don't know when, but I'm currently recording it on August 18th. This voice over at least. So I thought that I would record it, not only upload it to the gallery, but record it. Um, by the way, it is up on the gallery already because I had to submit it for the Lolly Summer to see it. Um, but I thought I would just film it and make a video out of it because I liked shell challenges, I like how they turn out, and that's what I did here. Uh, I thought the shape of the house was pretty interesting, but I also thought that if you put these glass roofs there and put flowers underneath that will look pretty and I mean it looks pretty I could have made it look even prettier I feel like I feel it looks okay um, so I am not the best with roofs obviously as you can see this roof there this tiny roof is just nonsense I don't know why I put that there but I had to put something there and I thought well, put, there, put a roof there. I also could have put a couch there or something like that, like a seating area to sit. And then this here was this kind of like corner where I put the bikes in that you don't really see. That you don't really see. I cut that part out because the video was already so long, but you can kind of see it here. There are bikes in this shed. It's not really a shed. Um, the kitchen is pretty small, sadly, but I think it's still a decent sized kitchen and there aren't really many people living here I think only two I'm not sure anymore I think only two people are living here I think it only has one bedroom uh, but we'll see in a second so I created a white kitchen I wanted this house to be a little more modern and black and white and you know of course a few colors but i wanted it to be more modern this time around i tend to make bigger houses more modern i don't know why that's just something that i do um and here you see me fiddling with decorations which isn't as easy as it seems why didn't i cut that part out i don't know but i won't do it now also this video is very long and i don't know what to talk about for 15 minutes straight but i will figure it out as i go along right um so I think first I want to thank you guys for supporting me, for following me, for subscribing to me and I never said that before in a video but I feel like I should because ever since I joined YouTube, I think three years ago, I didn't really get many subscribers. I got so many views on certain videos like the Nevercracker Monster House video, also like recreations like Drake and Josh and The Simpsons always do well, but I never gained any new subscribers. So I had I had like 85 subscribers for three years, almost, and I didn't really get any more subscribers. So I think this year I got the idea to actually start an Instagram and a Twitter for me. I don't know why I never did that. I just think I never knew what to post. Since I never really posted anything to the gallery either, I just took screenshots that weren't really nice or pleasing for my videos, but I never really did that for anything else. And now I'm posting everything to Instagram and Twitter, and ever since then I met so many lovely people 
people interact with you and people comment on your builds and I just think that this is the sweetest thing ever. I never knew that the Sims community was so supportive and so sweet and kind. I mean, I thought that they were kind people, but I didn't think that they were so supportive and so kind. You have even people with hundreds and thousands of followers looking at your builds and loving what you build and it's so fun and I want to like I don't know it's just so sweet and supportive and I like that a lot also if you have a YouTube account a YouTube account if you have a YouTube channel which you post sims related stuff on you can comment down below I will subscribe to you I want to see your videos, I want to get inspired by your builds because I know that there are a lot of people who build such amazing such amazing stuff. I am not the best builder and I said that many many times, I'm not the best, I'm slowly getting better at things, I think, I think I'm getting slowly better at building, but there are so many even, even small content creators that are building sims builds and posting it online that I want to support because you are so freaking you are so talented and inspiring and I love that so much so this right here is the hallway which is probably my favorite room of the entire build it's so cute I would want to sit here all day and read and do everything um, there's a piano and I love that piano it's an older looking one it's a vintage piano I think but I think this room turned out the best I'm sorry hello it's just the best um yeah so moving on to the living room which has a very very odd shape and i at first didn't know what to put there because it's quite large it's a quite large room um and it's an odd shape like i said it has very many weird walls that are long and i don't know what to put there how do you fill that in but i just started with a fireplace and some couches and some armchairs and flowers i love putting flowers in my builds recently i think it looks so cute i don't know um i never use any other decorations other than flowers and small little things for tables and stuff but flowers are my favorite decoration um so yeah it has a tv it has a cute little rug little it's a huge rug but then I didn't know what to do with that space, so I think I just kind of put a fish tank and, as you'll see in a second, I put <laughs> massage beds, what are those called? I don't know. I don't know, I, I put that there in the living room, I don't have a, another room for it, so I just put it there and I filled in these gaps. Because what do you put there? Should I put there another couch? I mean, I already put the piano in the living in the living room. I already put the piano in the in the hallway in the entrance room, and I don't know. So as you can see here, I skipped over building the bathroom because downstairs is a bathroom. But I just skipped that right now. You'll see it in the screenshots at the end. But I skipped that because. This video is already so long and when my videos are getting too long I usually cut out the bathrooms and I also cut out building the backyard because the backyard is my least favorite part about this. It's huge and I don't know how to build backyards. I am com being completely honest with you guys. I don't know how to decorate. I don't know how to landscape. I don't know how to make a backyard look cute in The Sims. In real life, I think it would be a lot easier than in The Sims, but this is not real life. It's The Sims, it's a game, and I am absolutely not good at that. So this is the master bedroom. Flowers in here, and a bed, and an Elvis Presley suit picture, and yeah, it's quite modern again. I also love this bed. It, I feel like it's it looks very modern, but it also looks very cute and cozy. And it fits in almost every build, especially modern builds. And then here, I experimented with flowers, which didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. And I also did an office. I thought, what if this room or this house is a house of an influencer? Or a famous person who uploads videos online maybe a youtuber maybe just you know an actor who wants to who wants to make money on the side by uploading videos you know 
we have get more and more people like that on the internet nowadays so i thought that that was a cute idea i also like the wallpaper and i was trying to figure out how to decorate this room so yeah this build is done now i think i hope you enjoyed and i hope you enjoyed and regardless if i win or not i like this build a lot i think it's cute it turned out very pretty and i am glad that i did this challenge it was challenging at times um so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you being here i really appreciate you watching subscribe and like this video also hit the bell notification if you want to and i will see you guys in my next video bye